We're here waiting for Governor Charlie Baker to come. He's endorsed Janet and I in our campaign to uh, get re-election of the Republican State Committee in the second Middlesex and Norfolk District, which includes Hopkinton. And uh, we're really thrilled that the governor thinks a lot of our work that we've done in the past and is supporting our campaign for re-election. Yes, we're very excited. I uh, have a good, really good turnout of people that have come throughout the district and other state committee folks from around the Commonwealth. So we have a really good turnout. I'm excited. I think um, Ed and myself have done, you know, we, you know, we, I don't think anybody could work harder, uh, whether we're recruiting candidates, helping the kids. Um, we have one of the uh, young kids that's here tonight. He's the president of Framingham High School. And he started a Republican club at Framingham High School, which is, we're, we're very happy. Excited about we're that. very excited. We're trying to get some of the young kids in. Um, we are working on some state rep candidate seats that are, that are going to be coming up. And we really believe in the governor's plan. You know, he's doing some really good things with the opiates addiction and the, the budget and the, M, the MWRA um, in the fixing the things with the T. Uh, there's just so many different things that he's doing and we fully support him 100% and we're Team Baker all the way. We are and it's because for a long time Janet and I have been telling people to get involved in government, make government better and uh, Governor Baker's first year in office proved that elections matter and who you elect to public office can improve your lives if you elect the right people. All right, uh, can you talk about some of your uh, goals if you're reelected? Well, I think the goal coming into this uh, 2016 is to get some state rep, state senate candidates elected, improve on the success we had in that area last cycle, uh, keep building the Republican Party, the infrastructure. Uh, we're doing better with the door knocking, we uh, are doing better with the phone calls, voter ID. Uh, better with their candidate recruitment, and that's what it's all about, building the grassroots. But it's just not this coming election. Uh, Janet mentioned Jake Bennell, the young man who at Framingham High. It's about uh, where the Republican Party will be when he gets out of college or when he goes to work, whether it be Republican candidates then, uh, to right. continue the growth that we see coming now. Exactly, and I think having Governor Baker and um, Lieutenant Governor Polito, they're doing so many great things that they're really bringing people into the party, which is, you know, they're, right now they're, uh, I believe their approval rating, the numbers that came out this week were 84 and 85 percent, which is like unheard of in this kind of a blue state. Uh, but nothing lasts forever, uh, and we understand that, that this is not the final, as one of the, go uh, Governor Baker, one of his favorite sayings is something that his father had said to him when he was young, that success is never final. So our goal is to build on what we have already done and try to bring more people into the party because there are a lot of people that are afraid to be Republicans in the state of Massachusetts just because of maybe some of the um, stuff that goes on nationally and they kind of want to stay out of the, the fray, and but yet they vote Republican. And you know, four years ago people used to whisper to us, oh, we voted for Charlie Baker. And well, now people come out and they proudly say that. And many of the Democrats that we know have also said the same thing. So, you know, the, the, we think that we can broaden our party by people that are unenrolled. And there are people that have a lot of Democrats that that are frankly tired of the, what's going on in their party, and they're unenrolling. So we are all welcoming them with with open arms. And I think that by being, you know, setting up a um, building grassroots, getting people into our RTCs, it's the way to build up and find candidates that will be willing to step up and run and to make a difference because they want to be part of the winning team that is uh, Charlie Baker and Karen Polito. So Janet and I would be very grateful if when you go to vote March 1st, you'd vote for Ed McGrath and Janet Liam Bruno for Republican State Committee. With your support, we'll continue to build on the success an opportunity that Charlie Baker and Karen Polito have given us.